Oh God, I ate so much, <laughs> and it was all like ten minutes ago. Sorry, because I'm on that that twelve to eight window. So I'm like, up oh, ten ten to eight. <laughs> when I get close to that the closing time, I try to get a big old big old food meal. <laughs> big old big old big old food meal in me because I'm like I won't be able to eat for like fourteen hours. Got that big old big old. But I did lose six pounds last week, and good I feel job. good about that. That's awesome. You know, man. it's been, it's been one week since I left from here. <laughs> no, it's been four yeah. months since I lost some weight. Oh, it, <laughs> well, January, I've, I've talked about my chart here. Yes. But essentially, January 7th, I was 167, and I've hovered there, and today I'm 164, good. Which, match, which matches my lowest. Which matches my lowest, but I need to uh, keep going. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing the intermittent fasting helps, and oh my God, Rey Mysterio just botched his springboard Hurricane Rana. Um, so you know, I hope it works out for me and Ray. Hoon and Con Rana, yes. So um, I got down to 195. Went back up to 198. Got back down to 197. Went back up to 199. Got back down to 196. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Except for I'm at the that's the You're 167. Way lower. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's my right. highest. Uh, Do you? When I was, I guess, when <laughs> I was like fat as fuck. At the most, my like my <sighs> bursting at the seams can't fit into my fat pants. Fat I was like 208. So I'm down over 10 pounds from, like, January. So that f- just feels nice in general. Yeah. And uh, it's just, you know, I've been doing it, but I've been feeling weird. And it's I'm, I'm just all over the place. And then it's, let's go to Baker Square. And, of course, I'm going to get oh, pie. Sh- and I'm just back and forth. But I'm I'm focused on losing the weight. Focused on it. <sighs> Well, I think, and it's not fair to make excuses, but on, I, but there is something to it. It's really hard during the winter, you know, they, that winter weight, they call it. Because you can't fucking go out hiking. You can't play basketball. You can't go through the trails and go fishing. You can't, Got it. You can't do that. And you're just at home just trying to focus on the diet. I'm just going to focus on the diet. Oh, it's snowing out. I'm going to focus on the diet. And as but, we've seen, yeah. uh, winter is still lasting strong and hard until tomorrow when it's 70 i'm gonna to go to huge carnival i'm going to Wait. huge carnival Th- that's what it's called huge carnival it's called huge car i've been seeing signs carnival. for this carnival for a month and it's just it just says huge carnival april 12th to april 21st and i'm like oh shit so you're, you're just calling-, calling it huge carnival so you're referring to it instead of like an adjective describing it, like it's part of the proper name of this thing. Huge carnival. Yeah. You're going to huge yeah. carnival? Like, yeah. do you mean you can go to Six carnival? Flags? No, no, no. Huge carnival. <laughs> oh, yes. Can't wait. I'm hyped. It's going to be nice tomorrow. I've, I've, I drive by it almost every day and I'm like, oh, it looks so much fun. I'll go on that. I'll go on that. Fuck that one right there. That's scary. And I'll go on that. Get on that spook house. Try not to eat the food. See, that's going to be hard because I'm going to be like, you know, Christmas comes but once a year. And this isn't it, but fun- funnel cakes and deep fried Oreos. See, but the thing is, this is not going to be the only carnival for me this year. This is going to be one of one of several carnivals. So it's going to be a good test to, so I can, uh, you know, have fun, go on the amusement rides and not uh, eat their poison. It's And it is, man. Is there anything that makes you feel physically and mentally worse than carnival food? Um, no. Even if you're keto and, and you're like, I'm just going to get this sausage on a stick. And you're like, I can taste the nitrates. Uh, you know, like <laughs> even the meats they have are terrible for you. I didn't even think about the meats. Yeah, it's all ba- like, and you're like, this fried rat is delicious. Like, what the fuck is this I'm eating? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I just, I just ruined a huge carnival. Huge ruin. 
Huge, huge no, food. nothing, nothing can ruin huge carnival except the fucking snow. And I was wondering because I'm an old man and I, I think about finances. I assume the city paid for huge carnival to be here for this extended fucking run, and then you get this day of snow, and it's like, well, that's that's fucking closed up shop. So I guess the city's just like, well, fuck. That's, that's a, I don't, that one's on us, I guess. Okay, so I have a little bit of insight into this. Oh yes. Um, when I was in Blackened, we played Lamont Fest. Or it, maybe it wasn't called that, but it was Lamont's like street festival thing. And it was right on the canal there. I don't want to call it a river because I'm pretty sure God didn't make that. That, that someone just dug a hole so boats could get around. Uh, it's right on the canal in Lockport. Or not Lockport? No, not Lockport. Lamont. Same canal, I think. Um, anyway, it was an outdoor show. There was a big carnival. It was kind of cool. It was like almost creepy because you're driving on the expressway. I'm getting off on a tangent. But you're driving on this expressway ramp, like sweeping around, and it's under you. And like it looks like, oh, that Ferris wheel is almost touching us, but it's probably like 40 feet away. Yeah. So it was neat. So we get all set up, and um, there's a bunch of rain and wind. And when you're playing outdoors at these things, if you have one of those like uh, jack-up tents with the with the cranks that go – up on the poles, they will lower that as low as they can so it doesn't blow away, which means like your head's almost touching this tent that you're playing inside of. But Ooh. but they there was lightning and they're like, we gotta call it. It's done. And uh we were like, ooh, sorry. And like, no, it's cool. Here's your money. You get paid. Uh we're insured. Yeah. So insurance. apparently they, they get insurance out for the weather. And Okay. They were almost gonna try and do it. And we're like, guys, you know. No one's going to come. Take your insurance money and say this was a total loss and get that payout. You paid for the insurance. Don't say, like, no, we can put this thing on. There's going to be four people here. What ended up happening is uh, we ended up playing anyway. Like, the weather turned some miraculously, and a bunch of people started showing up. But but they were like, yeah, we're, there was a point where, like, they're on the bus with us, and they're like, yeah, we're going to call it. Um, but you, you guys still get paid, rain or shine, because we're insured. It's not even a big deal. So I would imagine this the city is probably fine. Okay. Well, the I, I don't give a fuck about this. I want I want huge carnival to be fine. I want those I want those weird carnies to be all right. I was like, I hope they're not fucked because the weather's bad. So yeah, I just I just want everyone to be taken care of. You know, I don't want them being angry tomorrow and like you know what. I'm not gonna fasten that guy's fucking safety ring. Fuck you know, him. I don't think it's a matter. I, I think it's more a matter of I'm too high to remember to fasten it. I don't think you need to worry about anger. Do you know how many times I've had to flag him down? Like, hey, you missed me. He's like, sorry. You and the needle still hanging out of his arm. Yeah, just p- profusely sweating, <laughs> slip slipping on the sweat when you get off the tilt a whirl, and you're like, whoa. It's yeah. I that's gonna be. I'm gonna. Mm. Yeah. Adventure. Excitement. Huge carnival. <laughs> you know, I... So, I may have told you about this, but when we lived in Beach, where we went to a couple of those carnivals, and there was one where the guy was, uh, like, checking out the chicks as they all got on and off and, like, hold, oh, sure. hold my hand while I let you on the apple swirly yeah. thing. And it's, it's, like, benefit. it's like, dude, I don't need to hold your hand. He's like, and he would, like, no, you got to hold my hand. Like, oh, God. This guy's gonna beat off with that hand. He did right that here. to you? No, with the women's. Oh. They were like, no, and he was like, yeah, <laughs> touch me. <laughs> yeah, C- clasp hands. Touch me. Clasp me. Feel it. I want you to feel my hands. Feel me. Feel me deep and uh, I just touch my hands. I call Ivanka baby. Her name, her nickname is Baby. God, this oh, is gross. it's oh Jesus, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so That's fine. Close. You know what? He's in bad shape. He'll be dead soon. That's why I like He's at it. he's going to be real dead real quick. Everyone's like, "Oh, the Mueller report." And I'm just like, "He's dead." <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Your Trump is dead. I'm sorry. Your Trump is dead. Just, you know, he's going to have a second term. He's going to start He's dead. Yeah, he's stop it. He's not getting out of this one alive. No, definitely not. He's having these fucking sit-down dinners with Pence where they're just eating fried chicken and McDonald's. He's dead. He's a <laughs> dead man walking. <laughs> I'm in tremendous shape. Uh, it's the shape of a uh, fried chicken. Oh, God. 
Hello, <laughs> hello, fried chicken. I'm in the shape of it right now. You know that song, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran? It's about me and it's about my tremendous shape of dead fried chicken heart <laughs> clogged completely. The doctor said that my arteries are clogged, but I only need one. He's, yeah. I. Will they even have the audacity to call it natural causes? I mean, how natural is chicken grease? Pretty natural, <laughs> Pretty natural right? Like bacon, bacon slop. How how natural is that? And just like yeah, not yeah. exercising or moving and watching watching TV twelve hours a day. That's pretty natural, right? I think cave, probably, I think cavemen did that. That's how why they all had abs. He's the probably the closest thing a human can come to being a literal job of the hut. Is <laughs> is that guy like like he's he doesn't look like one now because uh, supposedly he's on all these diet pills that you're supposed to be on for months at a time. He's been on them for 30 years. So it's probably jacking up his uh, metabolism. But I get what you're saying. Like he's, that's the lifestyle you need to have to try and get to job of the hut status. Yeah. I eat, a sla- I eat slave this layer, he's fast got... food all the time, even though I'm a billionaire and I could have Gordon Ramsay here and cooking for me all the time. That's Deli- the, that's the weirdest food, part. It's, like I get it. You like you like your Taco Bell. You like your Mickey D's. You can have anything you want. McDonald's isn't that good. Once in a blue moon, sure. Oh, I'm drunk. Why not? But like a weekly thing, or oh, you got the sports team coming to celebrate. Off, oh, I fucked everything up. What, what, what do we want to get these kids to eat at oh, McDonald's? I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's dead, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope McDonald's sponsors the fucking funeral. <laughs> Sponsors it. Oh, it's like ham on his fucking <laughs> Oh, that fucking guy. So, did you see the the rise of Skywalker trailer? Star Wars. I Is did. that what it's called? I did see it. The rise of Skywalker. Okay, now because we talked about it once, you said, "Hey, Dale, how you doing, friend?" I, I saw the Star Wars trailer. I know you, you're going to talk about. It. I saw it, but I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it with the sound on. Did I miss anything? Because there's black at the end, and I'm sure somebody's saying something. And meanwhile, I'm like this fucking guy, this fucking Jim. And I was like, yeah, you might want to rewatch it with the sound on. Did you rewatch it with the sound on? No. Should I? You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do it? You fuckhead. Yes. Okay. So why don't you tell me about it? Okay, you want me to just ruin it then? No. But I'm gonna spoil you, it. Just set it up. I can watch that part real quick. You set it. You set it up. You set it up. You set but, it up. But you want me to set it up, but without spoilers. Just start setting up the trailer. Set the scene. Okay. All right. It starts. It starts with Ray. You know, and she's out in the desert. Where are we at? We don't know. Is it Tatooine? I don't know. Is it, was it Denku, wherever the fuck she's from? No one knows for sure. But she's got a lightsaber and there's a fucking TIE fighter on like the opposite end, kind of bearing down on her. It's like, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. That's fun. Um, and then uh, some voiceover. And uh, see, I got to tell you the voiceover, though. And the voiceover is, is, a, is a, oh. <laughs> What? He's just watching it out. Yeah. So what's what's wrong? We're not, we, we won't yeah, get we, pulled. That I mean, that's true. And the music sounds good, by Peace the way. Be with you, always with you. And we and we and we get some of some of that Luke, some of that Luke vo. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be crazy. You're gonna think I'm fucking full of shit, okay? But I'm over here manifesting my own destiny. But you're gonna think I'm full of shit. So. When I watched this with no sound and I saw the remnants of the Death Star. Oh, yeah, the remnants of the Death Star. I imagined the exact thing that I heard there. And I don't know if what I heard there is what what it sounded like is what I was imagining. So What happens there? What happens at that part? Uh, I hear a laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that okay. Well, that's that's the bit. That's the big thing. Really good trailer. Uh, Lando's back. He's he's got Looks a little good. fat face, which I love. Epic, he, yeah. epic music. Music sounds fantastic. The music sounds a lot better. Luscious and luscious even. 
And then Luke says something to the effect of no one's ever gone forever or something like that. And then you hear then you hear the laugh of Emperor fucking Palpatine, who we haven't seen in uh, quite a while since I think he, he took a over the top rope bump <laughs> in uh, Jedi. <laughs> and yeah, we haven't seen him uh, at at all in in these previous two movies. We've seen the other guy, Snoke. the holo- Snoke hologram man with the scar, and people are like, "Is that him?" Because I really want it to be him or somebody. Um, I mean, jury's out on that. But yeah, we get that laugh, and it, it sounds good. And uh, the Disney Star Wars week celebration thing that they had where like yes. every day they're revealing a new thing and like Ooh. here's the trailer for the game here's the trailer for the movie and like they, they so they play the trailer big pop they bring him out huge pop and, and he grabs the mic um and he does the, the palpatine voice and he says roll it again and he drops the mic and they play the trailer again just fucking hamming it up it's just it sounded like a blast and I, unfortunately it kind of took you know, two movies to maybe get a really, really good one, which hopefully this one is. I, I still like Last Jedi. Uh, Force Awakens is, you know, it was fine. But I want a good one. I want well, a for- fucking good one. Force Awakens is something that was going to be hard to screw up. Like, you you were going to get all the feels, all the nostalgia feels. And even if they, you know, rip beats right out of the original trilogy, people have been waiting so long. For just a movie that's got the look, got the feel, it's got that organic feel of Star Wars and uh, isn't the prequels. You know, people have been waiting for that for so yeah. long that you that was going to be a cheap pop. Like, you knew you, knew you were going to get over with that. It's like a USA chant after 9-11. Like, it's going to, people are going to have fun at the theater seeing that. Mm-hmm. But I this is interesting that you're excited about this. I think it's really cool. And fans, this is the type of thing that like fanboy fans love, because well, in the in the EU, in the EU, in the EU, he also didn't die in the Death Star. He was too powerful in the Force. So when you saw that big flash, wasn't him dying? Wasn't like his his body incinerating in that uh you know whatever exhaust shaft, whatever that was. That was like him just turning into the Force. He was like, I'm energy. I'm a cloud now. Yeah, and in this, uh, I think it was called um, Dark Empire. In the Dark Empire graphic novels, like he looks all old and and like shitty, and his bodies are just clones. Like he just has his, he's so much like almost pure dark side energy that it just like disintegrates these bodies in a few years, and he has to he has to keep body hopping. I like that. That's yeah. fun. So. So to me, this is like, God damn, they went back and were like, people didn't like The Last Jedi. How do we make it overly EU friendly? But it also like sort of makes sense storyline-wise. Now, I'm surprised. What I was getting at is you really liked The Last Jedi, and there were parts of it I liked, too, upon further review and when we talked about it. And I, I just felt like they didn't go hard enough at those parts I liked, you know? Mm-hmm. The parts that a lot of fans didn't like, I wanted you to go harder in that direction. Mm-hmm. So for them to be like, well, how do we make people happy? Let's drudge up the original villain. Seems like not a Dale move. Seems like something Last Jedi loving Dale would be like, oh, come on, guys. So so bring me into your headspace. I want to hear this. I mean, just because all you really have to go by it are three things. The trailer, the fact that it's being directed by J.J. Abrams, who did The Force Awakens, and um, that they um, talked, conferred with Mr. George Lucas on the writing of the script. Now, I'm sure they might have ignored a lot of what he said, but he had some inf- influence in there. I'm sure they tried to take with some of the, some of the good ideas Georgie had. But, I mean, yeah, this this isn't fucking trying to save Darth Maul where they're like, oh, he's got spider robot legs. Uh, which, which is exactly uh, what they did. Uh, it's like, no, you're trying to make chicken salad. Like they fucking, he wanted him dead and you're trying to rectify it. Like you said with the Palpatine thing. Sure. Poof. He's forcing it. Like this is much more uh, tolerable and allowable 
than than the fucking Darth Maul shit. Okay, but I'm not com- I'm not necessarily saying that the Darth Maul thing was a good idea or comparable. Yeah, I don't I don't care that they're rehashing that okay. they're bringing in, bringing in older things. I I'm, I'm, I mean we'll see how it all ties in. Like you don't feel like this stuff, is uh, I, just just Q Hogan's music. Honestly, after the first two, it's like, yeah, yeah, cue it. Okay. But Get him. here's what's weird for me is like I, I got the feeling and the like the impression, and I think maybe you, I'm sure I think you probably actually literally told me, but I don't want to make assumptions. You you like The Last Jedi a lot more than The Force Awakens. I like The Last Jedi more than The Force Awakens. Uh, I thought the positive aspects of it were quite positive. The, the negative aspects of it. Did did suck. Uh, the humor was a little inappropriate at times, and the whole subplot with uh, uh I forgot where they go to the the, the casino so planet. So that you don't remember their names. Yeah, and I don't just want to say black guy, Asian girl <laughs> subplot, but that's Finn? that's the one. Finn? Finn. He's a Finn. He's a Finn and Rose. Character. Finn and Rose. Um, like that was the hottest of hot garbage. Um, it was weird, wasn't I, it? In my cut. I just I would just edit those scenes out and I would watch the race stuff because that was at least on point. Yeah, I would edit out some of the humor because everything else was fucking great. Now we and we talked about the the Luke the Luke stuff. You know, hashtag not my Luke. And of course, you know he he seems to die at the end. And you fucking you listeners, you go back <clears throat> to that conversation. And I said I'm not gonna get hot about this. I'm not gonna you know. We'll see what happens with this last one because I think he's probably gonna come fucking back. You know, I want I want to see it. If he's dead, dead in that one, then yeah, maybe I'll. They might change some opinions on things, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back. And here we go. We we've at least got fresh narration from Luke Skywalker, and he where he's saying shit like, you know, nobody's gone forever. I think he. I think he's, I think we're gonna see him a like, little bit. Is this gonna get way more like metaphysical? than Star Wars has ever gotten cuz that would be to me that would be awesome. You know like It seems well it looks like they're trying to wrap a, a real big official bow on the the series. They're going to do a bunch of movies, but as far as the main series goes, they're trying to end it and if they have to go that route to end it, which they kind they might have to do. I'm all for it. You got to go big here. You can't just, you know, and you know, Frodo's or Bilbo's writing a book and oh, here and back again. Like, no, you're going to have to do some crazy wild shit if you're going to put a bow on this fucking nonsense. Yeah, and I, I agree. It's just, I, I I felt like you, I didn't, I, I don't remember you saying like the, the Last Jedi would be better if J.J. Abrams did it. But you're using that as like one of your, I'm not trying to, and I'm not trying to be divisive. I'm not trying to be a dickhead. But when you you pointed that out as like a positive, like J.J. Abrams was back, but I'm like, I don't remember you really digging. I I, I didn't. Awakens. That's not why. But so you're I, thinking like I the appreciate vi- more, his more of a produce. Style was yeah, cool. no, 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 not even that. Okay, but like like the he's he's smart. He's a smart guy. He knew what he was doing with Force Awakens, even though I didn't care for it. He played it a little too safe. But if if you're gonna get a guy to put a bow on it. He's probably the guy you want. What you're saying is he imagined dragons did. Like he tapped into what what does what And do I most, love Imagine Dragons. What do yeah. most what does the most what's gonna get me the most love from the most people? What's gonna reach yes. the broadest audience? He imagined he, dragons. Oh, you know what he you know who a little he, more muse. You know you know you know who he is? He's safe George Lucas. <laughs> that oh, is James. Well, I thought Abrams. I would uh, tear everything down and make people hate me. Um it, so it, here's another thing that doesn't. Really Am I over here me. doing fucking Trump impressions? Am I stepping on your toes, Jim? You sort of over, almost over, did. <laughs> over, right over here, over here talking Am about. I over here doing Trump George, impressions. You know? Um, I'm sorry. I mean, listen. I mean, jeez. I'm just excited because, first of all, it's bizarre. Okay, uh, like I had, I was having a pretty shit couple days, and everything is just turned around in like the past eight hours. Like my my whole life is turned around, okay. And one of the things that I I swear to you, I'm watching this trailer with no sound. The first I watched it a couple times on Facebook with no sound. And when I see the Death Star and I see it crumbled and I see them approaching it, 
I hear him laughing. Like, I don't hear him saying a line. I hear that laugh and then, you know, the good, good. Like, I hear that evil laugh. And then I watch it, and I'm like, is there an important part there? And you're like, well, yeah, fucking the most important one, kind of. And I watch it, and I'm like, yeah, that's, I've already, I've, I have foreseen it. I did Trump as Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> he is like that far up. I have foreseen it, okay? Okay, <laughs> I've foreseen it. Go ahead, strike me down. Strike me down. Go ahead. Okay. Lord Pegasus. But Lord hey, Pegasus the wise. This is not exactly what I was going to say, okay? Darth Plagueis the wise, or whatever. Um, This is in the lore. in the From the prequels on, this is in the lore. You know, where... <laughs> Where sure. People, yeah, yeah. People were sort of like, why do they just ignore everything from the prequels and shit on all of it? Well, those people now should be happy because why bring that up over and over? You know, Darth Plagueis could bring people back from the dead. He was so strong in the Force, he he would never die. He would live eternally, and then he well, falls down an elevator shaft and he dies. Now, to be fair, they only mentioned that once, and it was just kind of supposed to help Annie turn heel. It was sloppy writing, but and I've talked about this before, where they do remakes and sequels to established properties, where you go back and you look at what's been done before you, and you cherry pick, and you say, you know what? He gives this weird little fucking speech about Darth Pegasus, the, the wise. Is there anything there? Can we use that? Absolutely, there's something there. I'm surprised it's taken this long. And they can say that they've had this plan since day one. I, I've, I've, we've all read multiple times. That's not the case. They've been fucking piecemealing this together since since day one with this this new trilogy. But yeah, I mean, this is it. So grab every fucking card in the deck you can and go all in because this this is it. You've so probably go. seen episodes. and. Go ahead. And, you know, you're like, oh, damn, I'm surprised, you know, you, you like this, or you're rehashing and, and old villains. When you heard the laugh, and when everyone heard the laugh, I'm sure we all thought, oh, shit, it's, you know, it's about to go down. And it's been a while since we've had a really good villain. I can't tell you the villain in Force Awakens. I can't tell you the villain. Uh, uh, what's, it, what's his name? Old, old Mask Boy, Emo Mask Boy. And he's fine, Kylo, Kylo but you still need that big bad. He's been that sub villain for a while. And like, and Snoke wasn't doing shit. I'm hologram man. Like he, he didn't really, eh, it wasn't really doing it. Th- but this, you know, this is like, oh shit. You know, like this is, this is a finale. Yeah. I, I hear you. Uh, it's it's like Kurt Angle's retirement match. It's like, all right, you, you, we're going out with a bang. I'm sorry, Baron Corbin. That's not the that's not what we want to see. You know, we we don't want to see the franchise. You know, ending with you know Ray versus uh, you know just um, what the fuck is his name? Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Right. Like I'm sure that's going to be in there, but you know, you got to like, get the man that's pulling the strings. The Emperor is that powerful in the Force. Uh. What about a Luke turn? In what if Luke's been the bad guy the whole time again? Thing, and Ray and Kylo Ren have to fight Luke and the Emperor. Like you could take this many. Different it's too ways. late. It's too late for that. I, I don't think it is. I, I, you'd, I'd love to meet the writer who could pull that shit off. I'm not saying they could pull it off well. I'm just saying the possibilities. There are a lot because of possibilities it, just by bringing him back. It was an option. But on this it, was, it, was, it, was, it was an option, and I kind of wish, you know, we talked about it. I was like, I wouldn't be mad if they did. You know, Luke Skywalker's back in the, in the previous one. It's called The Last you know, Jedi and all this stuff. But they didn't. And if you just tried to retcon it all in the last two hours of your movie, in your fucking series and franchise, that's going to leave a bad taste in so many mouths. It it, it, it would be so hard to do well to the point where it's like don't even, don't even do it. The, the time has gone. Am I allowed to am I, am I allowed to predict or make a call it or is, or people are going to consider that a potential spoiler even though I don't know what's going on or what? Get yeah, get a pre-call cuz okay. we're going to have I'm sure we'll do a preview at some point. But. Here's here's my pre-call. Uh I could I you know Finn and Poe, that's great. They could be a great buddy team and you waited way too long to do that and now you if we get it, it's not gonna feel, it's not gonna feel as good as it could have. I mean, it started. We thought that buddy thing was gonna bloom when these movies went on. We got a little bit of them interacting in in The Force Awakens, and then like none of them interacting really in the Last Jedi. 
So like now you're it's too little too late. You've you've sort of made I already kind of figured Poe was not a major player like you'd want me to think he is. But Finn felt like he could have been. He was in the mix in in The Force Awakens and then Last Jedi, you give me a side mission? You give me a fucking ain't even a storyline mission. You give me yeah, just side was, quest stuff. That was yeah, that total was... side quest. Let's free the little animal things. So um but as far as the the big the you know who we really give a fuck about Ray Luke yep. the Emperor Kylo Ren Kylo it, Ren that mix here's what I'm predicting Luke falls to the Emperor uh Kylo Ren's got to turn face to help Ray beat the Emperor I mean that's just it's almost it's almost like what else can you do that that would be compelling? You want that big heroic when you look back at Return of the Jedi, this evil you've been raised that this guy's a piece of shit for nine years of your life, but man, if he just has a little shred of humanity left, could he save his I, son? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean it's just it's right there. It's right there for you. Yeah, and I wouldn't be mad at it. You know, but... like if you do it right, it's still powerful. Yeah, because and, it's, and it's, they, hu- it's it's a common human experience, you know. And they and they and they tease in Last Jedi, and that's probably my favorite part of Last Jedi, which you can only really experience that first time when you're like, "Is this happening? Are they teaming up now? Are they are they becoming friends? And are they going to kill this guy? And they do kill this guy, and they have a cool back to back fight scene together. And I'm like, this is just this is nice. Mm-hmm. This is just nice. And then, of course, ah, no, double betrayal. Haha. So, I mean, you can only go back and forth so many times. Like, what is, what is he, the fucking big show? You can't heel face turn too much. I liked it, though. Because I, yeah, so, I felt like it was like, no, no, no. Look, fuck them. Fuck Luke. Fuck this dead guy. Let's us. You and me. We're, we're a thing. Let's let we rule this shit. They don't we. tell us who. Who, what's going on? But then he's just like, God damn it, put this helmet on. I want to kill Luke Skywalker. And I loved so in the first one of this new trilogy, we get Kylo Ren and he's he's a lot of the helmet or the voice. Rah, 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 rah. And it's cool. And it gets kind of destroyed and his face is fucked up. And we see a lot of the face in the second one. And a lot of their, you know, it's just showbiz reasoning. It's like, we've got to show their faces. Um, but in the trailer for this one, and it's really quick. He's like melding it back to what melding it, welding it back together. So, and I'm like, well, I like that imagery. Do you know what got me it, off when I saw that? Do you know instantly the only thing I thought of that reminded me of what was happening in the trailer when he does that is, and and this is probably worse than part three, but Ninja Turtles two, when Shredder is back but his helmet was crushed and he's all fucked up and he puts his he makes like a new helmet on the grinder mm-hmm. wheel and shit and puts that shit on he's like okay let's do it we're back and you, yeah that's and you the know only why thing i thought of when i saw that then that, yeah, that's a great connection but I, I think the reason that hits is because it's a recommitment to evil yeah like that's one thing to be evil and go through some shit but to recommit to evil is just it's like well fuck that guy's he's going to be out for us i think yeah, and, and I love that. And it's like the, like Freddie making his glove. It's just like that. I'm crafting this thing to help. It's like Sauron. Yeah, it's personal. The ring, like it's. Yeah, I'm a big, fan. I'm a big fan of it. And the like, so yeah, the trailer excited me. Everything looked good. The music was good. The imagery was good. Obviously, the surprise voiceover kind of stuff. The the title, The Rise of Skywalker. That's got everyone going, huh? Yeah, it could, What's that could, about? Mean, could mean multiple things. Could mean multiple things. And it and none Cause, of cause one of my predictions, me. because one of my predictions, um, I said Luke Skywalker's not dead. He's gonna be in the third one. Um, and I also said because they're like you because uh what's his name? Kylo's just like your parents were nobodies, you know? There's this guy he was this and she was that, and they were they were fucking nobodies. I, I didn't buy it, especially after the heel turn. You don't believe a liar, guys. I still think there's something there. I don't know if she's a Skywalker per se, but she's 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 somebody. You know, is she a Kenobi? Is she this? Is she that? Is she a Hut? That'd be fun. Is she a Palpatine? Is she a? Oh my god! Uh, but, uh, <laughs> and and we sort of differed where I said 
maybe not different because I I agree with you that the whole Luke's Luke's gonna die and, and not really be dead and sort of absorb it like they that seems like uh no we got to change this stuff because we're making a third movie i know you want to do what the fuck you want to do but we're making a third movie i i think we agreed on that that there's some stuff that you that felt like somebody was like you can't you can't just can't just do that we got another movie to make you know i think because they're going to try to fix some of these not so great things that were done previously and because it's the last one i think in a lot of ways it's gonna look and feel like a fan fiction movie but it's gonna work and it reminds me of halloween 2018 where it's like this is like a fan film movie but it's done well and professionally and it and i i think i think we're gonna feel that when we watch it and and that's fine it's fine i i just felt like for ryan johnson's thing it would have worked better if Luke really did just die or, or didn't or played us and was like, ha fuck you. I'm staying alive. Oh, you know, or Kylo Ren or Ray joins him or something, you know, like something like go harder in that direction. And I felt like he probably wanted to in a way. And like, ultimately Disney's like, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't do all of that. We have a third movie to make, but well, I, I'm not, I'm not disappointed and I don't think it's gonna make it bad. I just I just feel like those those things are sort of out of place in his movie, but when you look at everything else that he did. I I just think because they mucked up these previous two movies so bad and they only have three hours left that they have to put fucking everything in this and it's just gonna it's gonna be nonstop. Here's your Palpatine. Here's here's this. Here's Lando's here now, and he's making his mask. And, and Luke is also back. And now she's and you know she's cutting that Tie Fighter in half. Oh yeah. Or, like that. I was like, don't don't blue balls me, trailer. And, and see, and that's another thing that every fucking Star Wars trilogy except for the original uh, fucked up with, because you know it's 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 the hero's journey. It's all that Joseph Campbell shit. It makes the first two movies sometimes a little, a little, a little rough, because you're like, yeah, they're making their mistakes, yeah, they're they're coming along, but then that third movie, and you got fucking Luke Skywalker walking into to Jabba's palace in a black robe, like, oh, I'm I'm at a hundred percent now. Are you ready? Because you should be ready. Yeah. And that's where that's where Ray is now. It's like, oh, this is my third movie. Are you ready? I'm gonna cut Tie Fighters in half now, and let's go. Super excited about that. The payoff. It's all about the payoff now. Ooh. Yeah, me too. And I felt like her, her like cinematically, her uh, uh, I don't even know what you would her journey becoming a warrior was more exciting to watch cinematically than it was. Oh, with, with four Luke. years ago, because like, yeah. what does he do? Like, I need he, the power converter. Right. What does he do, Jedi esque in the first movie? Mm, he, at the he end, you know, focuses, he takes off, he takes the HUD, the right. HUD off, and focuses, it was cool. He uses the Force, and he blows up the the Death Star. But but Ray's version of that in the first movie was like taps into the Force, pulls a lightsaber into her hand, and has a lightsaber fight. So like it just yeah. was more visually appealing. But here's one of the things that with Last Jedi, they introduced new Force abilities when they have their fucking. FaceTime call when he's like, I'm not wearing a shirt. <laughs> and it's like, we haven't seen that in any of the other movies or probably even the cartoons. So it's like, all right, you're introducing new lore and stuff really late in the game. And they're definitely going to do that in the last one. Cause obviously we have to know how and why Luke, how and why Palpatine, and it's going to be fucking banana. It's going to be, and you can't do that in an hour. It, it's, it's going to, it's going to be nice. I think it's going to be, it's not going to be boring. That's for fucking sure. I feel like I'm pretty good at g- sort of gathering some information and building a case for something that may not be there. But so I'm going to try and do this now. When you said the FaceTime thing didn't exist. So like he was sort of like appearing to her, right? But in her mm-hmm. mind. So uh cuz we don't know that other people saw it. You know what I mean? Like they were it was like a FaceTime call via the Force. We're not 100% sure that when Luke goes into the cave and that whole cave 
acid trip and he sees Vader and he fights Vader and cuts Vader's head off and then it's his face. We don't know that that wasn't Palpatine FaceTiming him in that dark place in the Dagobah system. But, you know what, I mean, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, so, or, th- see, I would, I would buy Vader FaceTiming more than, more than Palpatine. Or, oh, yeah, I mean, a- in that point in the story, it makes more sense. But I, like, when you look at the grand plan, when you think mm. about the power of the Force, like, like Palpatine would be able to do it for sure. It, maybe Vader could do it. I just, I, I but we've it's, seen, it's gonna be interesting. like, we've seen Kylo Ren do shit that Vader didn't do, like freeze blaster bolts in midair. It's just how, like, this, at the end of the day, this is going to be a Disney movie. How metaphysical and philosophical are they going to be about the afterlife I hope as much and all as this kind can. of shit? That's yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be interesting. And that's what excites me. Because they're gonna have to go all in, and it, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be beautiful. That, it might be a beautiful to, disaster, but it's gonna be beautiful. They're gonna have to go all in, and no amount of Disney money can can save them. You know, like you go all in, you lose it all, and you're like, well, there's another hand. There's another hand, and I'm I'm the richest person in the world, so I'll I can just go all in again or whatever. This is your this is the last hand, and right? so you're going all yeah. in with the last movie of. The last, last movie of this big, huge nine movie saga. And you got, you got to put all your chips in and hope yeah. people remember it fondly. And they're talking to George, you know, and you know, you know, George, I, I love ghosts. You know, I just love ghosts. Temple of Doom, there was supposed to be, supposed to be a, a ghost house, but we, we didn't go that route. God, and and so obvi- much and, worse. And, and obviously this trailer's got, you know, kind of, you know, ghosts, you know, afterlife shit written all over it so it, it's gonna be interesting just to see what they try can't wait is that later this year or next year i should have wait. i should have watched the whole trailer that movie comes out i think this, this one? year <gasps> december probably yeah, Sweet. Yeah, I believe so um and it feels like something that's already happened and, and sometimes i don't need to be surprised to be happy you know what i mean like sometimes you just want the thing that that thing does. And I'll go back, like we always do, to Halloween 2018. We just wanted to do Halloween things with it. You know? And I'm not saying beat for... Don't do it too hard. Don't Force Awakens it. But give me that feeling. And then what did they do? They built upon it. They gave us a new Michael that we hadn't seen that was just built up, just needed to get that killing come out. He just was killing everybody in the worst way, and it made sense. He's been locked up for 40 years. Just, we know what needs to happen in a in a sort of heroic story like this. Just make us enjoy the ride. You know, you don't have to fool yeah. everybody. Yeah, and... One of my concerns, because it's Disney corporate, you know, you're saying maybe Luke goes heel and she's got to do this and that. And there's a team up with Kylo. I honestly think she's going to defeat Kylo Ren. I think she's going to defeat the Palpatine. She's going to fucking meet baby face, female, strong female protagonist, victory over fucking everybody. Uh, And that's all there is to it. I think that's the route that they're going to go. And that's fine. It's not the end of the world if your your hero is victorious. Um, but I, I, I think that's probably the, the lane that they'll ride. Right. In, in sort of, people will point to, you know, there's movies that aren't all positive, that aren't all heroic. There are, but not a lot of fantasy action. Um, not I don't want to say sci-fi, but like fantasy adventure movies are generally not downers and empire was fine because we knew this is not the last one it made empire even better you know like there's gonna be thinking about the payoff later made that down ending even better even though it's down like if that was the last movie you'd be like well fuck and then the bad and then the bad guys win and you're like yeah man bro it's like life okay great but (laughs) that's not what those movies are for we have other movies for that yeah. And in in the down ending movies like that only work because we know at some point we're going to like Avengers. 
Avengers was br- was sad to watch and brutal and in but you know the next one is going to have to redeem the bad stuff and that sort of makes you even more invested so this is this is the one where that you've got to have the payoff you got to have the good guy payoff yeah and i think because the end of the last Jedi, one of the final scenes was like that little boy who's like, "I'm sweeping up. I'm just a peasant boy," and then he uses the Force to do a thing, and it's just like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, there are they're other people. Yeah, they're other everywhere. people out there. So you think about all that Star Wars is the first trilogy, okay? And then I'm telling you, change the end of Jedi just slightly, just a hair, okay? Luke has Darth Vader beaten. He can't breathe, no hand, can barely move. Uh, the Emperor is defeating Luke. And then and then t- change like 12 seconds of the movie where Luke just fights the odds and pulls his lightsaber up. And Darth Vader tries to, with his last strength, kill Luke. And Luke cuts down Darth Vader and the, and the Emperor and the good guys win. It... Has, there's, it's a million percent worse of a movie. Oh yeah, you know, like y- you're building towards something. So just, I mean, know, just and, deliver on. And, and because of the parallels, you know, with the the Vader and the fucking Kylo Ren, is he gonna? Is he gonna? Is Palpatine gonna take another over the top rope bump? But this, <laughs> but this time, by Kylo Ren, you know. Or do we get a Guardians? They they all hold the stone together and fucking sing this song. They can beat uh, Ronan. You know, like, do we get a moment where they where they all have to band together and it takes every ounce of force they have to defeat this evil presence in the galaxy? Oh, ooh. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's good. Here's what I think might happen or I kind of want to see happen. I want to see that parallel with the Darth Vader. And so we've got the, the end of Return of Jedi essentially again. Uh, Emperor, Ray, and instead of Vader, we have Kylo Ren, and it's just, it's just, it's the same fucking thing happening, and Kylo Ren gets him. He says, "You know what? Fuck this shit." And he grabs that old man and he kills him for reals this time, and it's like, "Oh yeah!" And everyone's like, "Yeah, remember Jedi? I remember Jedi." But then he's like, "No." I'm I'm the man now. He was the man. Now I'm the man. Now you're gonna die. So then you got that big face off, Ray against the new official big bad Kylo Ren. I think I think that might be the way they go, and I wouldn't be mad with it. I wouldn't be mad with it either. But I I want Kylo Ren to be more complex of a character. Which that would that would pay off. That would make sense with how he acted at the end of the Last Jedi. Where he's like, no, no, you don't understand. I'm not teaming up with you to be a good guy and go save everybody. We we won now. It's you and me. We get to do what we want. We rule this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, he can still have that that point of view. So you know, it's like like I didn't like how the Emperor was doing it. View, Ray, Ray, you've got this thing going on. I don't care for that either. Am I the only sane one here? My name's Kylo Ren. I'm just gonna kill everybody. I think and rule the rule the universe. Like like that mind state is good. I'm okay with he, that because they all he, think of themselves as their own the heroes in the story. You know, that old I change. just don't want I don't want them to redo the Last Jedi angle again. Like we've already seen. Like imagine. The Rockers break up. That's true. Kicks That's them through true. the plate glass the window. Thing. They have their blow off match. Then the Rockers get back together and then he kicks them through the plate. Like, okay, well, you did that. So That's true. as long as he stays how he is and just gets even more powerful and worse and selfish or whatever, you know, like as as long as Oh god damn. What if he's so powerful that they they have to go awaken Palpatine to try and figure out how to beat what if they have to pull some supernatural shit and they're like, Lucifer, we need your help. You know, like, what if they have to try and team up with Palpatine to beat Kylo Ren because he's so powerful? That'd be good. That's different. That'd be very good. That'd be very good. And, like, we can't trust this old man. Yeah, but he's a shell of himself. He's been just doomed to this prison for years and years. And and then they accidentally let him loose. And then 
he tries to persuade Kylo Ren, and then Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren tricks him. He's not tricking us and tricking Ray again. He's he's tricking Palpatine, and then he defeat like man. You could take this in a place, but guess what? It's already done. It's already yeah. happened. It's filmed. So we'll see where they take it. Yeah, and they've got so much to do in three hours. I know. So better <laughs> it's, be, don't it's gonna me, be. Alive. I don't want one fucking Finn side mission. He better be doing important shit. Or was he in the trailer? Finn. Yeah. Yeah. I think there All was right. like a half. I think there was like a quarter of a second of a shot of him. Okay. From what I remember. I've because that whole times. thing was. It was him and Rose, right? Like at the end, it was just like I think they're gonna get married and have children. Like so, what I'm saying is, she has to be in it. There are there's going to be at least one scene with Finn and Rose, and I'm gonna hate it. I'm going to hate it. It's yeah, nothing so to do with her. He's it's like, just he's shitty. riding around on like some sand thing, and then and then there's like the five of them all at that old Death Star. Oh yeah, because it's yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. It's a Jedi. Yeah, right turn here. Well, yeah, it's December twentieth, twenty nineteen. Is that the yeah? That's the one. That's our year, the year of the Lord, and it's the rise of Skywalker. What Skywalker? Are we all? Is this is this going to be a Spartacus ending? We're all Skywalkers, and we're just, you know, like that little boy. Skywalker just means something. Whatever they, uh, we're a symbol. A symbol right? can never die. I'm not the Jedi you need, but I'm the Jedi. Something. I'm not the Skywalker that you need, but I'm the one that you don't deserve right now. But you're going to deserve it. Yeah. In the next movie. Sand is coarse and it gets everywhere. So. So that was a lot of Star Wars talk. Well, it's. That's a lot of fucking Star it, it Wars is talk. Probably one of the most pivotal film franchises in the history of. I mean, I just wanted to be like, hey, did you actually watch the trailer with sound this time, asshole? <laughs> it, it, it went up for 45 minutes. I, I mean, it was... I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed. And if they are, it doesn't matter. It's our show. And, uh, and if they get to this point, good on them. But, I mean, I, I feel like what we were talking about was was relevant. It was compelling. It was, it was current. Good. It was current. It was fresh. Yeah. We, we did impressions. We did impressions. We brought it to places <laughs> that probably no one was thinking about bringing it, which we do. That's what we do here on the show. We pitch new ideas and we we make movies better just by talking it through. And then we get sad when the movie is not as good. Except, except Halloween twenty eighteen. Halloween twenty eighteen. It's the only thing that's that's <laughs> kept us going. But you know what? Are you mad at Mark <laughs> Hamill as Chucky? Was that real, or was that an April Fool's joke? No, that that that's real. I'm and not he's mad actually. At that. He's actually done the voice before, kind of in a like a robot chicken sketch, where he's, you know, doing an impression of the voice. I assume he's probably going to try to make it his own in this go around. And you know, somebody was talking to me the other day. They're like, you know what? I'm actually excited about the you know the Child's Play remake. And I said, I, I mean, I'll see it. And this person didn't know this, and I don't think a lot of people know this. Like that, that they're changing the origin. Of the of, with this, this isn't a serial killer using voodoo to put his soul in a doll. This is going to be a wonky AI story, evil AI. That's that's the story. Like, oh, we're gonna have, we're done. gonna have, you know, if we're gonna say things on the commentary on life and all of the technology. No, yep, well, done. Uh, and I'm this a- is the one you put in. This, this is the one they're gonna put in theaters. The last two movies were like straight to fucking Netflix. And they're probably going to end up being a lot better than this, minus Mark Hamill's great voice work on the doll. Yeah, that's that's what's disappointing now because I'm not mad at that. He does great voiceover work, and he does crazy really well. He did the Joker awesome for like 40 years, so uh, I'm not mad at that at all. But, but now I'm mad at what you told. What you it, actually, this is a good thing. Okay, I know I'm tripping over my words, but I was ex- I was kind of bummed. I wanted Brad Dorf to be. Chucky, even though he's over there being Chucky, he's it sounds like busy. He's, he still will be Chucky <laughs> in a different thing, which is good. Um, but then when I found out it was Mark Hamill, I ain't mad at that. And and when I saw the trailer before they like unveiled the voice, I'm like, it it could be it could be all right. Um, but what you've done for me 
is let me know that I have ze- I have no desire to yeah. see this movie. You've you've ter- Ex- what you've done is you've terminated Genesis to me. Where I'm like <laughs> I'm like well, Daenerys Targaryen she's really hot and uh, I want to see her kicking more ass at Sarah Connor. That could be cool. Arnold's back. They're sort of like alternate universing things because. They fuck with the timeline so much. That's interesting. And then trailer two comes out. I was like, surprise, I'm John Connor. I'm half a Terminator. I was like, okay, I don't have to see this one. Cool. Yeah. So that's Oof. what you've done for me. You've saved me. Yeah. I was, I mean, I was surprised they were, were going to reboot Chucky. And I said, okay, I mean, you're going to do it for a million dollars and you're going to advertise well and you're going to make your money's back. Maybe get some fucking a conjuring thing buzz maybe get a little series going but you fucked it right right out the gate you fucked it you just fucked it so i don't know when that comes out i don't i i might see let's find let's find out just called chucky i think they're just calling it chucky no they're calling it child's play good all right june 20 oh the day before my birthday fantastic june 21st 2019 happy birthday to me gonna go watch this uh this terrible movie directed by lars klevberg's doing this do you I, know that, Lars Klevberg? That does. I I will when you tell me why I should. Nobody knows who Lars Klevberg oh, is. Oh, you fucker! God, he did it. <laughs> you know, nobody gets nobody gets me like that except Dale. Like I don't fall for this shit when I'm out in public or with other people. Like I am the one who does this to other people, and on this show, Dale just knows exactly how to deliver it to just make me go like, "Whoa!" Well, I will when you tell me this great movie you did, and you're like, "Nobody does." Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's worse is he's done two movies previously. One of them is is this terrible horror film uh, called Polaroid, where there's you know a haunted Polaroid and you take a oh, picture. Was, and, wasn't yeah, this the fa- this uh, one the Facebook one? Was it? No, but it might as it might as well be. Wasn't this? Wait, wasn't this? Wasn't that in the same group of trailers with the Facebook one, like in front of? Something else we saw, some like scary movie or some. Oh, in front I of think uh, so. it, in front of it, it was like the Polaroid one, and then like yes, Bring yes, me back or what, like yes, yeah. See you in the DMs yeah. or whatever. Friend, friend zone, yeah, something. Um, yeah. So that's who they got. My day before my birthday. I'm sorry. They did this to me. That's okay. Next week, I wanted to get into it this week, but you know. It'll it, it can wait a week. So I watched a, I I watched Jason goes to hell yes. uh, oh again. I wanted you to but get into this too. I yes, know next week for sure. But I watched it in a certain headspace, and I had some questions, and I was like, I only know one person to ask these questions, and that's Jim. And that's the Duke. So I'm gonna. So yeah, I got some questions about the Duke. A little girl in a pink dress sticking a hot dog to a donut. I got some fucking questions about the Duke. I got well, a lot Duke- of questions. The Duke is uh, a character from Supernatural, and this was just a side adventure we got to see with his character uh, defeating okay. Jason. I just, I've never watched a movie where literally every scene I'm going, well, why? How? Like, and I've seen the movie a bunch of times, but I never really, I mean, you don't want to overthink the horror movie. Why is guy. the sheriff familiar? The old sheriff who's yeah. just like, that's my lady. And I'm like, are you saying daughter wrong? Because she's way <laughs> too young for you. That, like none of it makes sense. None of it makes. And then like she was, yeah, the, she was the pregnant one. She's like sixty and we'll, years old. Cry, Christ, honey. We'll, we'll get into all of this shit next week because I don't know. I, I watched it and fucking hell, Pussy Snake Jason. Oh. Um, <laughs> let's plug it up here. Like um, you can't describe that. I, well, next week, next week. We'll Pussy it. Snake. Yeah, I'm on the gram. At Dale's Wada, I'm 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 posting uh, gun range photos, rat photos. I'm gonna put up one tonight where my fun little good boy rat has got his brother's rat balls right in his face, and he's got this look like, "Why you got your rat balls in my face?" And it's hilarious. So follow me on the gram at Dale's Wada. I am also on the gram, as he puts it, at James Jr. Music, and I have a dad bod show coming up for sure. This one is for sure. It's on okay. Saturday, May twenty fifth. That's my. Ca- you hear my calendar? Yeah. You're getting May it. You're getting it good. Yeah. Dad, Saturday, that's in Indiana, right? Yes. Okay. Saturday, May twenty fifth at Beer Geeks. So we played Beer Geeks on Black Wednesday. It went awesome. It was 
a phenomenal show. I love the place. I love the owner. The crowd was great. The sound was great. So now the weather will be great. That's the only thing that was missing from that night. Saturday, May 25th in Highland, Indiana at Beer Geeks. Is that the one I went to or is that a yes. different one? Yes, yeah, that's a nice little place. That was a nice little place. You liked it. You had a it's good a nice time. Place. Yeah, a good time. there was there was <laughs> yeah, there's some ladies. Let's come to that show. Um, so, all right, those are some good plugs. Yeah. Next week, Jason goes to hell. Uh, I'm gonna talk some video games. I've been playing some games, and I haven't had recommendations for you guys in a while on that front. Um and just a bunch of other shit. Try to watch the Joker trailer with sound on for next week. Just curious what your thoughts on that one are. I'll watch it again. I have watched it once with the sound on when it when it dropped, but I'll watch it again in preparation for the episode. I have Other- mixed thoughts on that. Yeah. Otherwise, this was episode 67. Thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm huge carnival. I'm uh, over here being Chucky again. <laughs>